Russian grammar is complicated, which is driving me mad. Verbs require conjugation, and nouns are just as bad. <laughs> Ruski Ed here with a lesson on what has been and what is to come. The Russian word for next is sleduyushi, and the Russian word for last is proshli. They enable us to talk about last week or next week, as in this sample sentence. It means she will be here next week. Here we see sleduyushi used in one of its instrumental forms. Our next sentence goes like this. It means someone robbed the bank last week. Here we see a form of proshli, and we also see the singular masculine past tense form of ograbits used to describe what happened to the bank. The third sentence we'll inspect goes like this. Which means watch the show next month. The word to watch in this sentence is which is an imperative form of which means to watch. Sample sentence number four goes like this. And that means we all went to the mountains last month. Although it may not sound much like it, Pashli is a form of poiti, which means to go. Moving along, we have Shosnegf Proshlam Gadu, which means it snowed last year. Proshlam is a form of Proshli, and it should also be pointed out that Sho is a form of ET, which means to go. And now for a bonus sample sentence. Eto budet veroyatno iti snovav sleduyushem gadu means it will probably snow again next year. Here we see veroyatno, which means probably, as well as iti, which means to go, and snova, which means again. So the vocabulary list for this lesson looks like this. Sleduyushe means next, ograbis means to rob, nabludats means to watch, poiti means to go, and Proshli means last. And that's it for this lesson. Roski Ed, signing off. Dasvidanya. Russian grammar is complicated, but it just drives you 